This game's called Fitness Musical Hoops for grades 2 to 8. You'll need hula hoops and music, and thanks to Paul for this game idea. So in this game, you're going to use the basketball court line, and you're going to place a bunch of hula hoops around the perimeter, and all the players as well are going to be somewhere around the perimeter of the basketball court, so nobody's allowed on the inside. And as a teacher, you're going to choose a direction for the students to travel in, and they're going to do some sort of you know running or skipping or galloping. And when the music's on, the students are going to start traveling in that direction. So while the music plays, they're running or whatever around, and again, not on the inside. When the music stops, and the players are going to have to go into one of the hoops as quickly as they can, because if it takes too long, like the one player at the bottom there took too long, maybe three seconds or something like that, then if uh, the feet aren't inside the hoops, uh, then everybody will have to do some sort of a strength exercise. So it can be a push-up or a tuck jump or something like that. And then uh, they can continue on so they'd all leave their hoops. And then you'd uh, play the music again and they'd go around and around. And so it's great though, every time you can change up to a different type of uh, exercise. Oh yeah, and you'd also take away a hoop uh, every round and different exercises you could do. So for the cardio ones, as they're traveling around, Things like running, hopping, skipping, galloping, sliding, crossovers, knee ups, butt kicks, backwards. So different ideas for some cardio exercises. And for the muscular exercises, you have a list there on the right hand side. You can try those things. And of course, you can think up whatever ones you use normally. All right, here's a simple running activity called Hourglass Relay. A friend of mine showed me this the other day, and we used it with our classes, and it worked really well. So you can try it from grades three to eight. You don't need any equipment. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your students into four groups, and you can do this in the gym or outside, and you're going to tell them that they're going to do a continuous running relay, um, not a competition or teams or anything like that, but basically they're going to make the form, their, so their path is going to form an hourglass shape. And the best thing to do is start with one line and explain that uh, the first person in that line is going to run across. Now this line, uh, the one at the bottom right, is always going to run to the top left. So the first person in line will run to that uh, top left line, high five the first person in that line, and then they'll continue on to the back of the line. So that line will always go up there. Um, the first person from this line will run down, so that line will always go to the bottom line, and they'll high five the first person in, in that line, and again go to the back of the line. Same thing here, and same thing there. So the students are always going to continuously run in that direction, in those directions, forming the hourglass shape. Uh, so w when you first explain it, they might think that only one person's at a time, but no, no, you're going to have all four lines start at the same time, so that you'll have four students pretty much running at the same time continuously, always going to the same spots to form that hourglass and it's a it's a great kind of uh, running sprinting whatever you want to any kind of running training just to, just as a warm-up or whatever all right we're gonna take a very quick look at fitness relays in the gym what you're gonna need are some pylons um, some mats and whatever fitness equipment you might have in your gym what I like to do for fitness relays or any relays in general is I like to start with some cones as starting points for each team and in fitness relays you're probably gonna want to use some mats to uh, do the exercises on for the students to do the exercises on you're gonna make your teams as even as possible so in this case you've got six teams of three and uh, you're going to tell them beforehand which exercise or which action they're going to do once they get to the mats. So you blow the whistle to go, and the first person in line, each line is going to get to the mat. And this time they're going to do 10 push-ups, so they try and do 10 push-ups kind of as quickly as they can, and uh, head back to their line. Now the next person in line has to wait until they get the high five from the first person and then they can go. So when the players get back, they high five, the next player goes and, and does their push-ups, and you just uh, continue on throughout the line. If you want, you can uh, do a competitive mode where students will sit down at the end when they're finished. Um, so first group to have everyone sitting down, they win They win the round. Um, if you want to do it non-competitively, you can just have students continuously run through the relay and uh, do different uh, types of activities. So push-ups or sit-ups or jumping jacks, burpees, whatever you want. This is X-Circuit Fitness and it's a great fitness activity that can be used with small groups or big groups. A colleague of mine showed me this game or this activity this year and we used it with uh, upwards of 50 students at one time. It worked really well. You'll need some agility ladders, poly spots, and exercise mats. And if you'd like some optional fitness equipment, things like dumbbells, medicine balls, resistance bands, or whatever you have, benches, those types of things will work too. So to start, you'll set up your agility ladders and your poly spots in the form of an X in the gym. And that's kind of the basis from this X circuit. And then you'll choose six different activities. It can be any choice that you'd like. You can have with equipment or without. Here we have all without. So things push-ups, burpees, tuck jumps, lunges, wall jumps, and sit-ups. So those are no other equipment needed. Of course, you can have the other things, or even chairs you can use, little uh, little ideas that you have for different uh, fitness exercises. And then important thing is the direction you choose. Uh, you can go this way and you can reverse it, or you can make up your own if you'd like. But this is the general direction that the students will travel, and they'll go from one thing to the next in, the, in this X. And so to start, you'll have your groups um, if you have uh, just a few people or a smaller group, you'll have two or three. If you have larger groups, you have uh, five to six people starting at each one. And I also like to start with a few on the ladder or a couple on the ladder. And here uh, we see a couple on the, um, on the lily pads as well. And just to spread things out. Now there's no, um, what's going to happen is you put two minutes up and it's great if you have music in the background for the two minutes, you put on some music and they can uh, get moving and 
maybe a timer as well if you can post a, a stopwatch or a timer up on the on the wall if you're lucky enough for that or just have a time going and in the two minutes the students are all going to be going through this circuit as many times as they can but you have to tell them it's not to try and do it as fast as you can but to do everything properly but in doing it properly just keep going and keep going so it's a little bit of motivation and then after the two minutes there'll be a rest for maybe 30 seconds and then you can or even a minute and they can get a quick drink and then go and do it again and you, so you keep going two minutes and then break two minutes and then break two minutes and then break and you can reverse the direction you can change up the activities in those periods um, so it's a very simple idea and works really nicely. So we'll just take a quick look here. This uh, Remember, everybody's going to be going at the same time. You can overlap students, so it's not like you have to wait until the person in front of you goes, except maybe here as the student is going across there, you're stopping at the ladder quickly to make sure it's safe to go through, and then continuing on. So maybe don't pass other students going through the lily pads or the ladder. But then, uh, say, 10 sit-ups here, completed 10 sit-ups, goes to the wall jumps, completes 10 wall jumps at the wall, and goes over to the lunges, and completes the lunges. If the ladders can do ins and outs or high knees or whatever types of patterns. Same thing with the lily pads. Uh, tuck jumps, so do the tuck jumps, 10 tuck jumps, maybe 10 burpees, and then and getting back to the end of the push-ups. If, if the two minutes is still going, if there's still time, then the student would continue again. So going through it over and over again. This game's called Jump Jump Fit, and it's a fitness game for grades 5 to 8. You'll need skipping ropes and lily pads. So in this game, partners are going to find a spot somewhere in the gym, and we're just going to look at one pair here. And one partner is going to start with the skipping rope, and one partner is going to place down five lily pads on the floor in that pattern that you see. And basically, you're going to put one minute on the clock, or one minute on the watch. And for that minute, the player with the skipping rope is going to see how many skips they can complete in that minute. And the other player at the lily pads are going to see how many reps they can complete in the minute. And one rep is starting at a lily pad, going through the sequence that we see here, and ending on the lily pad. So that would be one rep. And so they're going to see how many of those things they can do in the minute. And they can go on two feet jumps to start, and then hopping on one foot, or backwards, or however you want to change it up as the time goes on. After the minute, then partners will simply switch, and you just go back and forth like hey everyone, that. Everyone, this is a game called Classy Moves for grades 2 to 8, and you don't need any equipment. Now, this is a type of game, it's a great warm-up game, or it can be used in a lot of different areas. Fitness, dance, jump rope, when you're doing goofy movements, or stretching. Actually, it branches off from your typical stretching circle. So what you have is you have students around the volleyball or basketball court, or even the middle circle if you want, and you'll have one student, or the teacher can start as the leader, and for 20 seconds, that leader will get to do it an act Activity. So this could be, if it's a fitness activity, you can have them doing the tuck jumps or push-ups or something, and everyone else has to follow along for the 20 seconds. Or if it's jump rope, they can do some skipping activity or so on and so forth or stretching. When they finish their 20 seconds, they go off to the, and join the circle, and then the next person comes in, and they get 20 seconds to do something else. So it's best when you uh, do some pre-teaching, of course, and give them a bunch of different uh, activities, show them beforehand what, what types of activities they can do, and then let them go at it. Right, this game is called Mirror Mirror for grades 1 to 5, and all you need is music, and thanks to Anne Guilmet for this idea. And sorry, Anne, if I pronounced your name wrong, my French is very, very bad. So in this game, we're going to start by using a basketball or a volleyball court line. So simple, you're going to have half your players on the outside of the line and half the players on the inside of the line, and then you're going to have some music. And while the music is playing, so when the music's going, the players on the outside are going to run around in one direction around the, the line, while the players on the inside are going to run around on the in the other direction until the music stops. When the music stops, then the players that are on the outside are going to have to strike some sort of a pose of their choice, whatever they like, and then the players on the inside are going to find the nearest player and go there and mirror them or copy them, so whatever pose that is. And if you have an odd number of players, you're going to have one extra player there who can choose. To, you, you assign that role, they can go wherever they want and uh, choose a group and strike the same pose. So it's very, very simple. And then after that, they'd switch so that pink would be on the outside, purple on the inside, and you'd continue on playing the music, so on and so forth. Some of the challenging poses you can have as ideas for some of the older students have a plank or squat, tree pose, bridge, side plank. Here's a very quick warm-up kind of fitness game called Fitness Ball Run. You can use this in a basketball unit or volleyball unit or pretty much anything, and you just need some sort of ball. So your students will be lined up facing the same direction and you'll give the first person in line the ball to start. Now what they're going to do is they're going to travel in one direction around the gym or you can have them follow the lines or wherever you want them to go and they'll just go at a jogging pace. So you're going to imagine that those students are actually moving right now and while they're moving they're going to start passing the ball overhead to the person behind them. So uh, continually down the line till the last person in line gets it. Once that person at the end gets the ball they're simply going to pick up the pace faster than the, remaining, than the other students and uh, become the new leader and then pass the ball back overhead to the next person and so on and so forth down the line. And you can run this for a few minutes or however you want. This game is called Pace Setter for grades 3 to 6, and all you need are cones. Thanks to Joe DeFritis for another great game idea. So to start in a large playing area, probably outside, you're going to place down cones in a colored pattern sequence. The color and pattern doesn't really matter, but you have to have enough cones, one for each player that you have. And you're going to choose a direction, they're going to be running laps around those cones. The players need to remember which cone they start at, because the goal of the game is, as uh, the coach or the teacher, you're going to have your stopwatch, and you're going to tell them, 
uh, to do a lap in an amount of time, so in 40 seconds. So they're going to have to pace themselves, time it, whether they're going to have to walk or jog or run to complete that lap. And the, and the player who can get to their cone at the exact time in the 40 seconds it would be the winner. And so it's a good game to practice different paces. Of course, you can it won't just be one lap. You can have two laps or five laps or ten laps and change the time each time and uh, practice all of the, the different paces. This partner fitness, it's a fitness activity for grades four to eight. You don't need any equipment or you can use whatever exercise or fitness equipment that you have depending on what exercises you want to work on. I like to use the volleyball court as a boundary line. On the outside or the perimeter of the volleyball court, I'll place down different pieces of equipment or just choose different exercises to work on. So you have jump rope, sit-ups, squats with the medicine balls, plank, bench dips, wall jumps, and of course, choose whatever exercises you'd like. There's a whole big list of them, of course. And the partner part is one partner will start at the line and their partner will choose an exercise to start at. And so we see an orange as well, one at the line, one at one of the exercises. And it's the same for all players involved. One will start at their line, the partner will start at an exercise. And you can do this with large groups as well. So I've done this with two classes together, so about 50 kids. And you can have yeah, about four or five at each exercise. You can even have eight exercises total instead of six here. It all depends on your situation. But uh, the general idea is very simple. You're going to play some music. Now it's 45 second cycles. So at 45 seconds, you're going to start. And when you start, the players at the line are going to run back and forth. They can do sprints if they want or just jog. Uh, for the 45 seconds while they're running, their partner is doing the exercise. At the end of 45 seconds, you yell out switch, and then very simple, they switch roles. So the player who is running is going to go to the exercise that their partner was at, and the partner who was doing that exercise goes running. And again, for the 45 seconds, and you say switch, and then they have to switch to a new exercise altogether and cycle through every single one. And then at the end of all of them, so that everyone's done everything, so you've ran six times and you've done six different exercises, and then you take a break, get a drink of water or whatever, do a couple uh, laps of walking around, and then you can do it again.